We are solving a dosing problem. When we look at the problem, we see that 300 micrograms orally per dose has been ordered, and we're asked how many milliliters to administer. We're going to look at the problem using the three different methods that can be used for dosing problems. First, we'll look at dimensional analysis. In dimensional analysis, we always start with what's ordered and place it over one. So our order is 300 micrograms. I'll place 300 micrograms over one. Next, I want to cancel micrograms. So I'll start my next fraction with micrograms on the bottom of the fraction. When I look at the label, the label gives me a strength in milligrams. So I'm going to use a metric conversion with the micrograms to get it into milligrams. So I have memorized that there are a thousand micrograms to one milligram. This allows me to cancel the label of micrograms. My next fraction will have milligrams on the bottom. Again, I look at my label. This time I can use the strength on the label because it has milligrams. So I have 0 0.125 milligrams in a quantity of 2.5 milliliters. This allows me to cancel the label of milligrams. And so my remaining label is milliliters which is exactly what was asked, how many milliliters should you administer? So this means I'm ready to do the math. So I take 300 times 2.5 divided by 1,000 divided by 0 0.125. And when I do all of that on my calculator, I come up with 6 milliliters. Let's try the problem using the nursing formula. In the nursing formula, we start with the desired or doctor's order. In this case, that is 300 micrograms. We place that over what we have on hand. When I look at the label, I have 0 0.125 milligrams. The 0 0.125 milligrams is in a quantity of 2.5 milliliters. So I'll fill in 2.5 as the quantity. In the nursing formula, it is essential that our labels from desired and have cancel. As I can see here, I have micrograms and milligrams, so they do not cancel. I'll need to use my metric line. I've memorized it with King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk full of microorganisms. My order is in that last label, the MC, and I want to move it up to milligrams. I have the placeholders in between, so I end up moving my decimal, which is here, three places. And so I have an equivalent measurement for the order of 0 0.3 milligrams. Now when I look at my labels, the desired and the have have the same label, so I can cancel that label, and I'm ready to do the math. So I'll take 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.125 and multiply by 2.5. That gives me an answer of 6 and a label of milliliters. I can also solve this problem using a proportion. To make the proportion, I start with what the doctor has ordered, and in this case that is 300 micrograms. I can also solve this problem using a proportion. In a proportion, I'll start with what the doctor has ordered, which is 300 micrograms. I'll place that over what I would like to end up with, and so I'll use an X because I don't know the answer, but I'd like to end up with milliliters. For a proportion, I'm making equal fractions, so I put an equal sign and my second fraction. My second fraction will be the strength of the medication. So 0 0.125 milligrams over 2.5 milliliters. When I look at my proportion, the labels have to match from top to top, bottom to bottom. They do not. 
so I need to use the metric line to convert micrograms into milligrams. I've memorized King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk full of microorganisms. This micro is that last label, the MC. And I'll need to slide my decimal up to get to milligrams. So my decimal is currently here. And I'll move it three places because I have those placeholders. And I'll get an answer of 0 0.3 milligrams. Now when I look across the top, milligrams and milligrams match. Across the bottom, milliliters and milliliters match. So I'm ready to do the math. On my first diagonal, I'll take 0.3 times 2.5. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.75. On my second diagonal, I'll take x times 0 0.125. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.125 x. To solve this, I'll need to divide on both sides in order to isolate the x. So I'll divide by 0 0.125 on the left and the right. On the right hand side, those cancel and I have x. On the left hand side, I'll do this math on my calculator and it comes out to be 6. And then I look back to my proportion, the label on that x is milliliters.